Hello, this is our videos, and today I'm going to show you how you can make a blue screen effect in Pivot Stick Figure Animator. And this is how you can overlay Pivot animations onto other videos. And we all know that Pivot will only let you have backgrounds, but they won't let you have a background of a video on there. And I figured out how to do that, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is very useful, and it'll probably be very cool to explain it to you and here we go okay so the first thing you're gonna need to do is download a, um, a program called wax 2.0 wax 2.0 and so yeah wax I'll put a link in the description box where you can find this at but right now we're not interested in that first off you wanna make a just delete all these Gosh dang it. Oops. Hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And yeah. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make a blue background for your green screen in MS Paint. And in order to do that, you want to go to Colors, Edit Colors, and select this dark blue right here use the paint can and click that and just click file and save doesn't matter what you save it as just as long as it's not like a PNG or bitmap or any of that because I don't know if wax is compatible with those and so yeah I already have mine it's right there just your regular green screens mine mine is a JPEG you probably want to go with that and you want to open um pivot where yeah right here this is pivot and you want to go to file and load background and select your blue background and here's our guy right here but black is pretty close to blue so when we edit it in wax later on then it'll just be all a blended in mess and so you want to change your stick figures color to a different one other than black or purple or any of those colors that are close to blue. So let's go with light green. That will stand out. And if your background is green, you can also do a green background. Um, you have you might have a little wider range of colors than just using a blue background and staying with green. But I'm just using the blue as an example. And you want to make your animation and save it but I don't have it right now because I already have one and it's saved as an AVI file see there's my just a little, nothing spectacular just a guy just waving his arm and here's the movie that we're going to overlay it on yeah just me twirling my camera around my room nothing terribly interesting either and that's what we're going to overlay the animation on and so, if your vi and you have to make sure that both your videos are AVI format. You can use video converters, or just saving it in Movie Maker as an AVI. There's tons of ways you can make it in AVI, but this is just I'm not going to show you how to do that right now, because this is already assuming that you know how. Just go to a media converter like Zamzar, Zamzar.com. And so you want to open Wax after you downloaded it, and you want to go right click in the media bin right here, click add media files, and there's our two AVI movies. You want to select both of those. One is this one is our no, I don't want to watch it. One is our pivot animation, and it's not it's kinda short, really short, it's only like two seconds and so obviously this video is not going to match up with it so we have to click and drag that down, sh shorten it out a bit and there we go, we have the two things right there but obviously we can't see through to it yet we can only see this guy because he's on the first clip and so in order to 
do this. It's kind of like Bathran. It's kind of like my Bathran tutorial, where you're just going to erase something and you can see through to this. And here's how you can do it on wax. So right now you just want to go to you're in the media pool tab you want to click the video plugin tab and go to the color selection right here just drag down the chroma key effect and there it is it's right in between these two guys right here this clip and this clip and you want to click the little arrow down there it'll drop down on this little selector thing and you want to click the eyedropper right here in this little select um whatever color you want to um, do the chroma keying on so you can see through to the other video and we're gonna eye drop that and you can see that we're already mostly there it has selected all the, the blue that we needed and obviously you can still see a lot of the blue you know around him and around the edges so we're just going to go to the tolerance right here the little scroll bar and just scroll until we have what we want. That's pretty good right there. And there we go. You can now see through to the video. And you can make longer animations, short animations, and all that. So then you can render it and watch it and show it off to people who don't know how to do it. And it is awesome so <laughs> there you go that's how you do it and thanks for watching this tutorial okay i'll see you later